Good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Praise God, praise God. It's been a minute since I've actually done uh, audio. Praise God. I pray that you are blessed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just going to go into prayer first before I even begin. Oh, Father God, we just come to you, Father God, just thanking you, God, giving you honor, giving you praise, for you are worthy. I say he is worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I pray for this whole world, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I pray that you redeem your people once again. Let them hear what said the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare that your people are returning to you with a whole heart through obedience, through holiness, Father God, through forgiveness, through love in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I pray for all the leaders, Father God. I pray that they return to you, Father God, first and foremost, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus over this earth, over this world, right now in the name of Jesus, over your people, God. I say that they are your people and they will be redeemed. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I sever every attack, demonic attack, every assignment. I terminate it to the root of that thing. I sever it to the root of that thing right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan. I say the blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan. Satan, I say the blood of Jesus comes against you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare that the children of God are rising, hallelujah, to take their rightful place at this time, this moment, this hour, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I pray that you blow a fresh wind on them. Oh, strengthen them, Father God, physically, mentally, emotionally. Oh, hallelujah. Bless them financially in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare that this shall come to pass. And yes, in this lifetime right now, oh, Father God, give them peace. Give them joy. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, God. And we seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb by saying amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I have a dust said the Lord. We are in a serious time. God woke me up, I think about maybe four or five. I'm not really quite sure the timing. And I put some things on Facebook. But I'm telling you right now, we're in a crucial time. God says, repent. That's for everybody. I'm going to say that again. Repent, said the Lord. I'm going to say that again. Repent, said the Lord. It does not matter if you're living a righteous life. You can have a word, a thought, an action. God says, repent. He said, judgment and is in the house of God. You have to understand that this is God's church. These are God's people. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, I am coming back for a blameless, a spotless. You don't hear what I'm saying. Holiness is still required, says Lord. Obedience is still required, says Lord. He said that the church have lost their mind. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to do this thing the way God said do it. We have gotten blessed. Oh, come on, somebody. So blessed until we have forgotten God. He said the leaders... They fly to and fro. I'm talking about trying to build many kingdoms. He said, but they're not building his kingdom. He said, but your own flock at your own church is suffering, but you're trying to be a star. You're trying to be one of these famous preachers. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. I can't play with this thing this morning. Hallelujah. He's saying your soul will be required. He said, feed his people and quits feeding off of his people. He said, money has made you turn from him. He says, you have forgotten your flame. Your fame, your flame, the fire of God for fame. Everybody wants to build a brand. He said, first of all, we all out of order. He said, because that's my church, my son, hallelujah, building, you're building on another man's ministry. So you know how we like to say our own ministry. We ain't got no ministry. It's the ministry of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, said the Lord, hallelujah to his name. He says, repent. He says, for the time is at hand. It's shorter than you think, people. Persecution. Execution is coming, people. Oh, hallelujah. I see famine. I see pestilence. I see death. I see destruction. Oh, but he said, but they will return to me when I allow the Babylon to take them captive. Oh, come on, somebody. This is going to be a hard to say the Lord. And I, I'm sorry to be the barrier of bad news. But 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 there's going to come a time when martial law is going to come. There's going to come a time when you're going to be in FEMA camps. It's going to come a time when you're going to return and cry to your God, said the 
Lord. You're going to beg for mercy. He, you're going to beg for grace. He says, so, so know your place right now. Repent, he says, while you can. You see, free will is something else. It, it can save you, but it also can destroy you. It's your choice who you serve, God says. He said, he's not going to force you. He's not a God that forced you. He said, he said, but choose wisely. Oh, hallelujah. This is about eternal life or eternal death. This is not a game. I know you thought we were just in this world and you just got you a job and you're supposed to have a car and, and, and some money and, and you're supposed to look good with your Michael cars and your red bottoms. I, I know you thought that you was all that, but let me tell you something. You are a spirit first. And if you are truly God's, this was never your home. Oh, come on somebody. I'm going to teach this thing the way God said to this morning. Some of you have gotten a little too comfortable here. Some of you don't even serve God. You don't even wake up and say, Lord, thank you for waking me up. The first blessing. Hallelujah. All you worry about is Pharaoh system. What is Pharaoh system? Them jobs, that money, that car, that house. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. But not, not even have you required when you die and you will die. Where will your soul go? Said the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm a little hoarse this morning. Excuse me, but I got to do this thing the way God, he, he was very stern this morning. Oh, come on, somebody. And so since he delivered it stern, I got to deliver it stern. Oh, come on, somebody. My spirit was grieved this morning. He said, judgment is in the house of God. He said, they keep playing with me, Deanna. He said, they keep playing with me, Deanna. He said, they keep playing with me. Let me tell you something. Grace and mercy have been our portion. But what if I tell you, 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 you I don't know if you read that Bible for real. Oh, come on, somebody. Because we got a lot of prosperity preachers that don't really teach that Bible. God is a God of love, but I need to tell you something. God is a God of wrath. Oh, I'm going to say that again. God is a God of wrath. So be not deceived. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Whatever you do, you will have a consequence. For the wages of sin is always death and always will be death. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So I tell you right now, my brothers and sisters, stop being selfish, stop being greedy, stop lying, stop stealing, stop fornicating in the house of God. Some of you sleeping around the pastors, y'all know what y'all doing. God says, stop it in his house. That is his sanctuary. Hallelujah to his name. You have lost your mind. He said that we are like Sodom and Gomorrah. Notice I keep saying we. God don't look at just you individually. God don't look at me individually. He look at us as the body of Israel. Christ. Hallelujah. So if one sin, we all got to go through something. Y'all don't hear what I just said. But you thinking you. Because you see, the new teachers, the new age got everybody thinking, well, I just do me. I got haters. Can I tell y'all something? One body, one Christ. Christ, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. Get it together. You are your brother's keeper. You are your sister's keeper. Stop playing, said the Lord. Stop playing. So I pray that you really heard me this morning. Count the cost, my brother. Count the cost, my sister. Get your flesh under submission because that's what's going on. That's why everybody tripping. Let's just be real. You ain't spend time with God. God knows we're not perfect. That's the truth. But if you get in that word and you work that word and you fast and pray, don't tell me you can't be a better person. Don't tell me you can't, you can't understand what God is saying. Hallelujah. But the body of Christ has been deceived for a long time. Everybody want to be blessed. Everybody want money. Everybody want a name. Everybody want brand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's the truth. Catch your head, said the Lord, for judgment is in the house of God. This going to be a hard year for the body of Christ. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? If you don't get close to God right now, and I mean for real, quit playing, you're going to understand exactly what I'm saying by the end of the year. The same stuff that's happening abroad in those countries, it's coming here. You just don't know it yet. Because you, 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 Pharaoh system, you just working, get that money. You know, that's the new saying, right? I must say you better get saved for real and quit playing. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you with the love of Christ. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are.